Yo, what's going on, everyone? Cliff Jumper 1984, Red Rocks, your favorite Autobot, drinking that. Well, it's not Natty Ice again. We got some rum and coke. Ooh, Cacalico Jack. Ooh. It's been a while since I've, you know, done a video. It's been, what, a week and a half, two weeks to actually, you know, anything that, up, besides uploading the two car vids I did. I was at vacation and, you know, having some fun, some sun. I was at Outer Banks, chilling on the beach. I was in the water, went an hour away where someone got bit by a shark. Holy fuck. But uh, I'm back with another video game video. And, you know, still doing it the way we are with just filming on my tablet. I can't do inserts or anything. But what I have is a video of 10 NES games that I constantly go back to. And for the most case, a lot of these aren't really good. I mean, I got two or three in here that are decent. Well, of course, one's awesome, but it's one of my favorite. And it, I just want, you know, it was a video I haven't done, so I thought I wanted to put that out there because I want to see who else, you know, plays some of these as the game that they, you know, go back to, or one of them or such. So I'm not going to keep rambling on. And here we go. One of them is one I had like this is the fourth time i had it i have it on virtual console nes black Heart, pinball i don't know what it is about this game i love playing pinball games and you don't have to put quarters in it to play it uh you know it's one of the first 10 games i had when i was little so i think i had a connection with that number two uh, this game is on a lot of people's list for one of the top 10 top 25 worst nes games Tag Team Match, Muscle. And I, it's a fun game. It's not that great, but I just think it's as quick and enjoyable and how cheesy it is. And when I was little, I used to have Muscle Men. And I also think that's another nostalgic thing for me. Again, it was like one of the first, like, maybe 25 to 30 games I ever played on the console. And it was something that you could easily play when you're five or six years old. Bump and Jump. I... And I don't even know why. It's all right. It's not the best game in the world. The music's eh. It's all right, I guess. And it's a quick game you can pick up and play for a bit and throw down. You don't feel bad if you, you know, got too far in it, I guess. Here's one that's a fun puzzle game. My label's really bad on this. And this one comes up because it's one I used to play with a guy. Again, I brought up a lot in my channel. This guy, Jason Brown, used to live across the street from me when I was little. Load Runner. Fun little game, a lot of levels in there. It's got a level edit maker, which that's, you know, what makes that game fucking fun. Another Black Cart game. Another one that's one of the first 10 games that I owned when I was little back. You know, and then we're talking like 1987, too. Balloon Fight. You know, a Joust clone. Again, it's one of those ones that it's just easy to pick up, play a few stages, and you don't get pissed if you don't get far when you turn it off. I, I played the shit out of that game when I was younger. Excuse me there, I need to cleanse my palate of uh, some flavor. There's one that actually is on my list because I've been playing it a lot lately, and I haven't beaten it yet. It's a Jellico game. Astanax. I don't know. It, the game keeps bringing me back. And it's, it's got a good difficulty, and I haven't beaten it yet, and I'm trying and trying. I forget how many stages there are, but there's been a couple times where I got really close. Milton Bradley game. This is one I always beg. When my friends want to play Nintendo, I always beg everybody, let's play this together. California Games. There's seven different games on there. Everybody loves it. Well, not everybody. There's a lot of them hate the surfing and the skating one and that. But, yeah, I, I usually, like, try and beg my friends to play that. Tengen Court and one of the most better ports of the arcade. Pac-Man. When I was younger, I didn't have this card. I actually had the great Nintendo card. Who doesn't love Pac-Man? Whatever. It's Pac-Man, right? I played the shit out of it when I was younger, and I still do. Here's one, a taxing game. But I don't think it's on a lot of people's lists. It's one of their games that they play a lot, but I love the game, and that's Mappy Land. Uh, my cousin had this when I was younger. I was like 10, and I got to borrow it once or twice, and I wanted it so bad, and I didn't get to own it until I was like 
14 or 15 or something like that. And then got it again when I was like 21. And now have it again. And I love the shit out of this game. I play it a lot. Yeah. And this one, it's an easy one because if you're a diehard fan of my channel, if you are, I'm sure there's not too many out there. But it's, again, I keep saying it's my pretty much my favorite NES game of all time. I've beaten it constant many times. Legends of the, the, links, the Adventure Link 2. I beat it, play it. I beat it and play it. If you want to, if you're still sticking around, uh, a couple updates since I got back. I've been working on, you know, I keep talking about, oh, I'm getting a computer and everything. Well, it's coming, and I got some other accessories. When I do video game pickups, like I've had, I got something to hook up onto my car. Well, a couple, you know, I got a few cars if you didn't know to drive them while I'm doing my video game pickups. So I can put a video together and everything. So. A little excited about that. Hopefully it gets rolling at the end of the month. We're talking beginning of August. I have an idea for a cool video I want to do, which is like, it's going to be like Red Rocks the movie. And I'm going to put myself in situations in movies and cartoons and different things. It, it's hard to explain. And I, and in my mind, I, it feels like it's going to, it's better than what it actually will come out to be. I'm scared it's going to come out looking like shit. But I know there's a part where I'm trying to do something like where Power Rangers are trying to assemble the Megazord, like the original ones. And I, I want to be, end up riding the pterodactyl, you know, the pink one. I'm like, why the fuck am I in the pterodactyl? It's like stupid shit like that. Yeah, making fun of Captain Planet and I don't know. It's it's something I've been planning for like two months ever since my computer died. I was like what I started on the project and I hope it all works out. Hey, thanks for sticking with me through all these hard times again. Drink one on me, whether it's Natty Ice or some uh, rum and coke. Ew, what the fuck is that? Well, yeah, hey, till next time, everyone. Drink one on me.